Okay, guys, my uh, dinner's cooking in the oven. I'm starting a production line here of packing backpacks, removing all tags and anything that could end up in the environment as litter, because I do not want that happening. And these backpacks are really nice, really super nice. I've also got uh, Gatorade that I'm packing. I got both flavors. I'm pulling out a bottle and I am putting one bottle on one side. And the nice thing about these Gatorade bottles is they're reusable. And then I'm taking a water bottle that they can fill up with coffee or anything they want, juice, water, and that'll go on the other side. So that leaves them two bottles to use. And then let's see, uh, which one is the main compartment here? I guess this is the main compartment. Boy, they have all kinds of pockets. I'm making sure that there's no cardboard or any paper inside once I cut the tags off. And then I'm just going down the line and I'm adding uh, stuff to pack these bags with. So I gotta snip these off the gloves. Okay. Getting this done. So nice gloves for them to wear. There's even a zipper thing here in the gloves to store stuff inside the gloves. That's pretty cool. So you guys, when it comes to being homeless, I don't believe in giving away cheap stuff. I mean, even these hats, look how thick they are. That is really, really thick, super, super warm, nice beanie hat. And they're by George. So I'm putting good stuff in these uh, packs, you guys. I'm not, I'm not skimping because I know when you're out on the street, you don't want crap when you're uh, living outside. So nice warm hat, nice warm gloves. Put the hat right on top. Thing of toothbrushes. I got a big bag here just full of toothpaste, travel size toothpaste, a first aid kit. Everything's going in the main compartment so they know what they have. Uh, tissues and I got these heavy duty large combs because for a woman that's got long hair, it's got these bigger teeth and then these smaller teeth are even further apart because your hair gets kind of nappy when you're out on the street. So I got these really nice ace heavy duty combs so everyone can get a comb. And I uh, see I got water bottle, tissues, gloves, hat, comb, wet wipes. And then with the socks, what I'm doing is I open up a bag of socks and I'm putting two pairs uh, in the bags and whatever I have left over, if I was left over with 20 single pairs, then I would make it three pairs a bag. But let me get a rubber band because I got a bag of rubber bands here in the house. I always try to be prepared. And what I'm doing is I'm taking a rubber band to put around the socks to keep the two pairs together, just like that. See there? And then that'll go down inside the main compartment here. So they're getting a good bag of goodies, you guys. Really loading them up. And then I got my cards that I uh, made up to put in the packs. And then I put a card in each bag right here in the top where they can see it when they unzip it. So I got wipes, toothpaste, gloves, hat, socks, <clears throat> toothbrushes, Kleenex, water bottle, Gatorade, first aid kit, you name it. And I'm also gonna be loading up these packs with uh, snacks and food. That's gonna be coming next. But what I'm doing is I'm just getting the packs mainly done and ready with the main supplies here so I can get this stuff all off my floor and um, get these bags all packed up tonight while dinner's cooking in the oven. And that will be a good job done. And I really thank you guys for donating to make this possible because I'll tell you, this will make a difference in some people's lives. 
and uh, I got gloves that are basically one size fits most. So if they don't fit them, maybe they can trade them in to, with somebody that has a pair that don't fit them and maybe they can swap. I don't know, but I'm just trying my best, you guys, to, to do what I can so that they got the stuff that they need for being out on the street, especially now that it's winter and it's getting cold out, so... Okay, I like to put those right there on top. Got some Kleenex go down in here. First aid kit in front of that. A nice comb, wet wipes, a water bottle. You should have seen the looks I was getting in Walmart going to the checkout with this much stuff. Especially with the backpacks. I was getting the strangest looks by people. But that's the way it goes. They probably wondered what on earth I was doing. But One woman that saw me putting all these toothbrushes and toothpaste in the cart, she says, are those stocking stuffers? And I says, no. I said, it's to help the homeless. And the reason why I said that is because... I want her to think about possibly doing the same. It's the only reason why I said that, you guys. When you tell someone that you're doing something for the homeless, it gets them thinking that maybe they can do something for the homeless too. If I would have just said, yeah, these are stocking stuffers, it, it might not have made any difference. But saying that it was going to homeless people, maybe she'll think, well, if he's doing this, maybe I can do something. So I'll just keep doing this, you guys, packing up these backpacks, getting everything, each of everything in them. And then uh, I will be doing a video of, of on the street giving these away to the people that need them. Thanks for watching, you guys. We'll see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.